When I was a young, young buck, young stud, mm -hmm. five minutes, it was not fun. It's not okay, Brian. Minute. It's okay. Um, <laughs> this is I wanted to space. ask you a question. So you think that there's a higher success rate for a man to stay with a woman if they pay on the first date? What is that you what you were saying? Uh, it's just the most optimum. Okay, if you look at dating, if you're looking at it, f uh, using an analogy here, like chess, paying for the date in every instance is the optimum chess move. Because while it might not necessarily, some women, it won't, if you split or whatever, won't have an impact, but there's enough women where it will, and you won't know until that check comes and you pull the pull the move or whatever the most optimum move is to just pay for the date but if we're having a conversation of like about fairness and egalitarianism and like how many women are feminists and not ladylike who are demanding chivalrous gentlemanly treatment then we can have a conversation about like what's fair what do women deserve and i don't think women deserve men to be chivalrous if they're not ladies no offense to ladies most women aren't ladies and to be fair, there's not a lot of, I would say there's not a bunch of gentlemen out there either, but that's the, that's the current dating landscape, dating climate. Most women I don't think are deserving of chivalry because they themselves are not ladies or ladylike. Mm. I was asking to that specifically because the past few first dates that I've had, I've offered to pay yeah. and they let me pay. And I'm wondering if that wasn't the optimal choice to make in that situation it just it feels, to, to it feels continue to have other dates after that was that the wrong choice Maybe that i made it's because they think that you're not interested and that's what i was so saying yeah. really i think it could be you think that they think i'm not interested and that's why i chose have to you pay? tried like speaking to them afterwards about your interest yeah oh of course yeah Oh, but Brian, not. that's exactly what I was saying. I'm always very life. straightforward with my interest. Guys taking the lead in some aspects, like paying on the first date. You know what I mean? Like, him do you think that was too masculine of me to do that, he, or too straightforward? You know what I mean? It seems like you're even second guessing yourself there. I don't. You know think what I mean? You said it yourself because he said that was that the would, optimal choice. That's why I was questioning. I don't think that would make a guy turn away from you. Okay. Yeah, I don't yeah. think. I it's, mean, some yeah. guys might welcome it. I don't think it's going to, like, if you offer to pay, I don't think it's going to, like, turn them off of wanting to pursue you or anything. So, and, I mean, I, if, if a girl offers, it's kind of a nice gesture. I'll take her up on it. Why not? <laughs> but, no, I mean, now I'm just, like, I'm just going to pay for everything. <laughs> but, but I'm in the place, I'm, like, in a place to... So what would you define as like lady like, or you're saying that sure. you most women yeah, that's aren't a good question. Like? So <laughs> lack of promiscuity, mm -hmm. both current and past, not to say that some women can't be redeemed, but, uh, if she has a past of promiscuity, I think immediately now she'll probably still want guys to pay for dates and she can still get it. But again, if we're just having like a conversation here at a panel discussion about dating, I don't think that type of woman is deserving of a guy being traditional. She's not a traditional woman. She had the opportunity to be, she threw it out the window. She's not traditional. She's got a body count of 20, 30, 40, 50. That's why I don't yeah. think she's deserving of having a date paid for her. You weren't, you okay. aren't, tradi so, you're not a traditional woman. Yeah. Uh, also, if she's currently like, if she's dating other men, don't think she, she's deserving of you paying for a date. If she's sleeping with another guy, obviously there's no scenario where if a girl is sleeping with another dude, now she might not tell you, right? But like, if we're just looking at it, bird's eye view removed from the situation, mm -hmm. if we know those are the, what's going on, if a girl's sleeping with another guy, there's no way that the guy, like, if she's going on a date with another guy, yeah, that he should pay for a date with her. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not, valid. Like, sure. how are you gonna, how are you gonna give a girl chivalry when, like, after the date that you so generously and gentlemanly pay for, she goes to the guy's house who she's fucking and fucks mm -hmm. him? Yeah, I'd say you shouldn't be dating if you're like, if if you go on a date with somebody. For me, I would hope it would be under the pretenses of like you're looking for a relationship a lot of people in the 
dating landscape are seeing multiple people, dating multiple people, Mm -hmm. sometimes sleeping with one, two, three other people. Yeah. And it's like, you want me to pay on a date, but you fucked a guy last night? Hold on. What? Are we talk? Are we talking about chivalry? Are we talking about ladylike yeah. behavior? You I'm just, just like I wonder how I wonder how want. common that is. You know, it's pretty common. How promiscuous? It's pretty. It's, if if compared, if they're to on them. a dating app. Yeah. Probably got to go and assume. I, mean, I guess it, I, on dating apps too, like people Hold put on. their intentions. We got you know, two girls like, at this table <laughs> who are single. Yeah. But have been in friends with Ben have who are in friends with benefits. Mm-hmm situations uh six months eight months mm-hmm. with one, one there's but they say they're single right no offense ladies but yeah you are involved you're involved with the guys like you're not really yeah. single um, i'd say that for, for in in those situations it's like yeah you just have to have a good picker on who you're gonna go on a first date with i mean at the end of the day yeah you could go on a date with some woman who's like a total liar and she's like yes like i'm not seeing anybody whatever and you could never really know but i think that if if you screen the right people and like you're not just going on dates with like random hoes and you're like hey what are your values what are your um like do you do you engage in in hookup culture like what are you looking for whatever um if you go on a date with somebody like that that okay. is genuinely looking for a relationship sure. and isn't doing that and is looking for like a more traditional thing then yeah you should absolutely a man should pay on the first date but i will give you those caveats for sure but i think it's up to those people who are going on the date to mm-hmm. like do proper screening to like go on a date with somebody that does deserve it sure uh, Nick, let's go to Twitch really quick, then we'll get into more pre-show notes. Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever, drop a follow and a prime sub. It's been uh, a minute since we last had a prime, but it's probably got rebugged. Can you help? Help. Help. <laughs> and Discord, Discord. Dot, guys, go to discord.gg slash whatever, drop a follow and a prime sub if you have one, discord.gg slash whatever, if uh, discord.gg slash whatever. Uh, check it out, guys. Okay. Uh, your next notes here, you say, <laughs> if you, Brian, doesn't want to get married, no one should have to convince you as long as you're transparent about that. That's just one of your dating preferences that women can either take or leave. You might have a slightly harder time finding a solid, more not, uh, trad, non-strumpet woman, though. Non, non, strum- non three oh four. Oh, okay. But I use strumpet instead. Yeah. It's a little more polite. Since slightly, maybe, yeah. A bit more polite. Yeah. I don't see the issue with you not wanting to get married. I mean, basically what I said, yeah. But you, you said I should, as long as you're transparent yeah, about it. Yeah, as long as, like, a woman knows, I, if, like, somebody's so it's my dating duty for to marriage. Tell them. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if you're, like, engaging in a relationship with someone, mm-hmm. you see it going somewhere, and... <clears throat> And like, I feel like you guys should, and in any relationship, mm-hmm. you should know what you're looking for. Do you guys? So, just to give you guys context, if you don't know, uh, mm-hmm. I don't see myself ever getting married. Not to say that I don't want to have. Well, I do want to have a long-term relationship. I could date the same person for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, monogamous, have kids, etc. Just don't want to have uh, the marriage, the the get the state involved, the government involved. Um, so with that said, do you think that I have a duty when I'm starting to date a girl early on to be transparent and disclose this to a girl? I think once you're dating, then yeah. Once dating, but not like early on. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I would say that's a weird thing to mention on the first date. Uh, that would honestly scare a girl away because why are you already talking about marriage? But maybe after like... Four years, you should mention it. Uh-huh. But wouldn't th- wouldn't that make you non-traditional? One sec, one sec. Here, excuse, excuse, excuse. Show me that. Here, give your take. Um, I'm getting older, so I think anyone that I'm with or that's with me, we should be straight up. We should tell exactly what we're looking for, and if they're not interested, that's the end of it. So I think you should be completely transparent from the get-go, like first date, say, this is what I'm looking for, you're not interested, then that's that. But are you going to answer my question? What's your question? So wouldn't that make you non-traditional, though? Sure, yeah. Okay. So you're not traditional. So in some ways I'm traditional, in other ways I'm not. Okay, so bring it back. The last couple of podcasts I was here, mm-hmm. 
I said the same thing. I said, in some ways I'm traditional, in some ways I'm not. Mm -hmm. And you got on my ass about it and you were like, nope, you can't be one or the other. So now I'm just here to say. Did I, I find, say that though? Yes, you I did. think you're misrepresenting So I'm finally here bit. to say on social media that gotcha there and it's perfectly okay. <laughs> well, hold on. Let's, let's It's perfectly okay. okay. Like I, I, I still have love for you. I and will engage with you We agree you on, on that part. I love well, that. Well, there's a That's bit of a right difference there. though. We got, so a, we got a connection. There's a, bit of a, there's a bit of a difference. So <laughs> while I don't want to get married, I'm perfectly, uh, I'm very much interested in and can have a long-term monogamous relationship that may or may not involve children. Perhaps you could say that this is not traditional, but I don't know if it's a Correct. fair comparison because you are a prostitute. Okay, but still. So, and I'm not saying that to insult you, but I'm just stating But it's, it's still non-traditional. Th yeah, it's but still it's a little, value. yeah, but it's a little different. Just so is it's mine. It's a little different. Hold on. But the, the degree to which you are non-traditional... It doesn't matter. It's still non-traditional. A traditional value would be to get married and to not have sex with anybody before marriage mm -hmm. and to get married to that person. Yeah, and I have... And yeah, I'm, so that's have traditional no value. I have no problems with premarital sex. So, yes, you're right. It yeah, is non-traditional. So, but that's all I'm saying. What? So what are you saying? That you're non-traditional in some but, but aspects, the and that's is, okay. But the, dis the, the difference is, is that I don't really claim to be this like stalwart, stalwart, is that the right <laughs> fucking word? Well, no one's <laughs> saying that you are. I don't claim to be some super trad guy. Nobody's saying you are. I was okay. just pointing it out that that was pretty cool and Not interesting. Not stalwart. <laughs> I use that word incorrectly, sort of. Sort of? Maybe, hold on, more definitions. Eh, maybe, who knows? Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> That's it. Oh, I don't know if it was really a gotcha though. But it was like it was like a good a good point of growth right there. Like <laughs> I don't know, it was great. It was a point of growth. It was like a good point right there. Yeah, like uh, for, you just uh, your said that point? you were kind of traditional, kind of not, and I was like, that's exactly something that I said from the last. Well, podcast. so here's for example, you might be like, well, Brian, can you really demand a a traditional woman then? But Here's the thing. No, right? I'm not saying that. Oh, okay. Because sometimes people will say, well, Brian, you want a trad woman. But it's like, I will date a woman who will have premarital sex in the same way that I have premarital sex. Yeah. You could say it's non-traditional to have premarital sex. Yeah, right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what... But like, that's that it. maps on one-to-one. -one. Whereas like... You say okay, you, but no, that, no, no, but you say I dig, want. You're trying no, no, to dig deeper but you than where it has to you, go. No, 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 I'm not trying on, to Lex. say anything. <laughs> no, but you want to like you want to like go deeper than what it is. I'm just saying that we can both agree that we have. We can agree. Okay, we well, can't agree, I, and I know, oh. and that's fine too. But yes. we can move on from this because that's well, all I'll, I have to no, say. But I'll engage with go it ahead. a little bit. So I can't agree because. Uh, the degree to which engaging in sex work, prostitution, that is such a degree of non non tradition non traditional. But you can't be a non trad guy and say, "Hey, that's not traditional either." When you're not traditional, you know what I mean. So it's like. But okay, hold on. I can call out if What's here's your take on here. This? No, no, no. Hold on, ma'am. Stop. I will answer no, 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 if no, no, no. answers. Stop. Okay. <clears throat> so you will say, for example, here's my expectations of a guy. And you'll say, well, I want these sorts of traditional things in a guy. And I think in the previous show I pointed out, well, you have these expectations of traditional treatment from men, but you're engaged in sex work. You do OnlyFans. You, I don't know if you do sugar daddy stuff. You do all this stuff, right? And so, excuse me, that's not really like doesn't really mesh. But I said you know that I mean? if I were to be in a relationship with a guy that I wouldn't want my boyfriend wanting me to do those things anyways. So that's where I told you that I was partial traditional and partial not. You know what I mean? And that's why sure. I don't really date. Okay, cool. No, and that's That's fine. <laughs> Exactly what I was saying. Good convo. Good talk. G good, great. Good. It was, Are good, you it was done? a good talk. Are you done? I am, but that's all I wanted to point out. All and right, then stop flirting with me. Keep... Jesus, relax, Lexi. <laughs> me flirting with you? Oh, yeah, gosh, relax, right? never. Take it, take it easy. All right, Jesus. All right. Okay, let's uh, going back to a Ava's notes. Um, oh, the marriage thing. I don't know if we finished up 
fully on that. Damn, girl, you wrote a lot. Oh, Dude, no, so, I thought everybody did. So you said uh, I should. So you think I should be transparent? Yeah, yeah. I like mean, and I, and I didn't say, I'm not saying, like, come out on the f- very yeah. first date and be like, I refuse to get married. But, like, you know, just if you begin casually dating someone, you could see it going somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it should be something You're right. they're aware of. And, you, I, and then I think that it's totally fine. Do you like, think you women should be transparent about their body count, like, on the first date? I mean, again, I would say maybe on the first date, like, that that's a little, like... Bit of a of a strange wait, hold encounter, on. I'm sorry. but yeah. I just, if you're wait, I actually no, 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 stop, stop, someone... stop, 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 stop. I just uh, want to. Are you guys uh, sharing a, the vape? Yeah. No, I just had our whole day. I have the dress on. No, no, I, I actually don't mind that you guys are vaping, but like, have you guys been hitting her vape? No, so it's in my dress. I'm not. I'm not like calling you out. I'm just. No, I know. <laughs> have but... you been hitting her vape? Yes, <laughs> my vape. I'm, yeah. Oh, has she been? Yeah. Why? Um, it doesn't bother you that she sucks <laughs> dick for a living. I suck dick too, just not for a living. Why would I care? It's not like she has dick in her mouth right now. Why would that bother me? She brushes her teeth. You know, but like, it doesn't bother you that she's a woman of the night? Damn, no. it doesn't bother you that I'm a woman of the night and I'm literally just sitting right before your eyes. Well, I wouldn't like share a I wouldn't share a vape. I'm sharing like, this table with all of you guys. Yeah, but right like now. if if you share if you put your lips on something. Don't make me come over I, there and give you a hug. Yeah, she, don't mean, make me come over there and give you yeah, a hug. Okay. No, but who cares? She brushes her teeth. She I'm showers. Sure she like, yes, but you can't but, but, get on, rid of an STD oh from I mean, brushing your teeth. Are you trying to say that I suck some dick right downstairs in your alley? But, but the thing is, <sighs> yeah, right before I got here, like, right before the pod, a dick or and then walk through the door. She okay. Did I just suck some Thank some you. peen and then come right through your doors and, and then come the right in here? And also, the worry about STDs that you said sex workers are typically the most safe about STDs. Erroneous. Everybody. Erroneous. Everybody. That's so room, not true. I would it's trust not her true. the most. She has been saying she uses dental dams. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I can say anything no, but the herpes can be caught by just using the, you can smoke a cigarette with someone if they yeah, have herpes. You can get herpes population. from literally herpes? drinking out of the same cup. Yeah. Exactly. Lexi borrow this, yeah. Exactly. That's why I wouldn't drink out of Agreed. your cup, Lexi. No, but herpes is a visible thing. No. I don't when not always. It can be, it can be undetected. You can have no symptoms. It can be undetected. Yeah. You guys act like you've never like kissed anybody. I haven't you don't kissed kiss your partner. Hooker <laughs> or a prostitute that you as know far, of. As you far know. as I know, you don't know you're right. Everything. Exactly. Maybe we see it's okay, Germaphobe. We see Calm what down. Other population has um, mouth herpes. You're over here saying. freaking out. Can we see the population? I'm not trying to throw shade at Lexi. I'm just. I noticed you were hitting her vape. I'm. Maybe it's <clears throat> fucking rude for me to point it out, but me personally, I wouldn't practice. share a vape. I also licked your doorknobs in your bathroom. I believe it. And then that I sucked you, cock right before I came here. I'm not trying to be mean to you, Lexi. I'm just... I, I'm just saying. I'm not trying to be mean to you, Lexi. But I'm, I'm just, just saying. I'm, these are... 19-year-old girls are sharing a vape with a... Well, my answer to that question is no, it doesn't bother me because I'm, I'm pretty sure. Am she, I being mean? I'm just. You're not being mean. Am I being mean? You're just being realistic. Being a you're being silly. realistic. You're being yeah, you're being silly. a little silly. You guys should be thanking me for. No, I mean, she told us before this started, like, I knew, but I, like, that's kind of, first of all, that's kind of discriminatory to be like, what, wait. offer my of vape. Of course. To in Do the you not know who Brian like, Atlas is? You, you're a sex worker, you can't have my vape. Like,. And also, she brushes her teeth. Wait, like, it's discriminatory? <laughs> yeah. To be like, you're a sex worker, so you can't hit my vape. Or is it just It's okay, cautious? Brian. I forgive yeah. you. Don't worry. Brian, I forgive you. Am I... Am I just... Okay. God bless you. I mean, you. it's just a preference that like, you wouldn't do it, but like... It's like it's not that deep. Yeah, I don't know. I trust her, especially after she's talking about dental <sighs> dams and she gets tested after every part. Make out with her right now. Do it. Why would I do Damn, that? Damn, for you gonna free? Pay her? Hell no. <laughs> gonna pay you were flirting with her. But hell yeah. You're but for free? By. You're both by. For free? For the views? Wait, it's... Yeah, we're not going to give you some free shit right now. Subscribe to my like... OnlyFans to see us make out right after this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Kiss her. Are you, I'm joking, would you, but... Um, 
You're gonna do sex work now? No. What, what oh, did so I say? That? I thought, bro, he's just joking. No, I thought I'm you were just tr- joking. Kissing thought, her isn't sex work. No, technically. I thought, I, no, I thought you were gonna do a collab with her. It no. was for <laughs> jokes, Would shits, you? and giggles. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. <clears throat> You gotta be a little more protective with your vape. I think, I don't know. I trust her. I don't, you know, I've never met anyone else in real life that's used a dental dam. Can I that's make another like, point, oh, though? No. You also have a cough, so you don't know if you're getting yeah, sick. She could have a say. cold. Yeah, do, you, do you have mono or We're something? You could like, be getting so sitting here. Yeah, but COVID. she's having a the cough, cough drops. You could you be COVID. getting a cold no, from using I've, that. I've I'm taking it the other way. That's very yeah, different than a cold. What if you got a cold? Depths. These Ebola. are the depths the nicotine addiction have Ebola, monkey pox. Yes. Malaria. God damn, girl. Oh I have it all, yeah. You have Ebola? Actually. Watch out, Shit, Lexi. I'm scared as fuck. You're the one that's going to get it. No, scared. and I also <laughs> told her, she said, can I hit your vape? And I said, I have a cough, by the way. Everyone can hear it. Everyone knows. And she oh. said, that's Gosh, fine. I just want her to spit in my mouth. Yeah. What the? Obviously, she wants the cough, so. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't know. Okay, going back to the transparency thing. Uh, so you think I should? I should. Yeah, I'd say that after, if you're if you're dating somebody and you see it going somewhere, then that should be disclosed. Mm. Oh, I, and I was asking, should women be transparent about body care? Again, if you're dating a woman and you see it going somewhere, oh yeah, I don't God, see a problem with so disclosing bad. body count. So like, would it, do you think it'd be wrong for a guy to ask a girl first date, like, what's your body I mean, count? It might be a little bit uh, out of the, or like it's it's not usually the normal thing. It might throw a woman off a little bit, but good. Um, you know, like if a guy does that, <laughs> I'll be like, good. We can have a discussion about it. Um, I don't mind disclosing yeah. that. And so, just one thing, like when it comes to me not wanting to get married, is it something that the woman should ask if it's something that is important to her or that I should willingly yeah, disclose? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it just naturally comes up in a uh, relationship. You, you end up But is the those. burden on me to disclose or is it on her if for her to ask? Um, I, I think in general, well, I mean, 